I had a terrible night last night. How true to life <coughs> and intense a dream can be. The whole Warsaw affair. This guy was in love with his secretary. You often hear that, or, oh, they were Martian. They were inhuman. They must have been inhuman to do what they did. Right? I'm psychologically shattered. If I don't meet Trudy again very soon, I will kill myself. He was in love. And his secretary said, no, nah, no, nah. I don't want to be with you anymore. His heart was broken. Does that sound human? Have any of you been in love? You will be. You'll have boyfriends and girlfriends. You'll have children eventually. Some of you, many of you, whatever, right? You know what love is about. You love your parents. This guy loved this woman. She said no. He said, I'll go kill Jews. That's how I'll get over it. And he writes about it. A week later, the 12th of July, report for an execution. Fine, I'll just play executioner then grave digger. Isn't it strange, you love battle and then you have to shoot defenseless people. 23 had to be shot. If you understand English enough, had, that's loose. They had to, according to who? Their own minds? Orders? Or does this guy say, 23 had to be shot amongst them two women. They are unbelievable. These Jews wouldn't even take a glass of water for us before we shot them. And then we don't have time to read the whole thing, but he says, the candidates, the last two or three lines, if you guys can read it here, the candidates are organized into three shifts. There were too many to go around it to dig their own graves, so we had to shoot them at 10 o'clock, at 1 o'clock, and at 3 o'clock. Three shifts, he said. And then this guy, who his heart is broken. Why was his heart broken? What did, we, what did he write about? The woman he loved said goodbye, right? Right? And then he writes here about killing defenseless women. Strange. I am completely unmoved. No pity. Nothing. That's the way it is. And then it's all over. Is this guy brainwashed? Or did he, for some reason, it's really tough to get into someone's head, right? And I'm a historian, not a psychologist. Psychologists can only get into the heads of people who can speak today, right? So as historians, we do it a little bit different. But does this give evidence of his feelings and of his thinking? So for Trudy, he feels a lot. But for the Jewish women, the 23 who he shot, nothing. No pity. I don't even think about it. Why? I can't explain it, and I know a lot about this stuff. I don't have an easy, good answer why this ordinary man who fell in love with a woman, he was married by her when he fell in love with her. That's why she left him. He didn't feel anything. Why? What explains this? Is it his identity as a German? 